Hello everybody, I am Mullen at last, and this is Dead Rising 2 once again. I don't remember exactly what we were doing in the last episode, but I do know we gotta get to the... down underneath the place, because we've seen something on the security cameras. I'm a little too frustrated to be given a exact report of exactly what happened in the last episode. Also, I... I already lost my train of thought. This is going to be a great episode, isn't it? My mind has already been flushed down the toilet, and now I got another message I'm not gonna bother even looking at. Let's just move along and hope things work out for the best, because they usually do. I got me a Frickin' lightsaber, and there's some people gonna be getting their faces split open. Brownie and coffee creamer. Hell yeah. Anyway, get out my way, you undead bastard. I liked the jump kick better in the first game. It still knocks him down, but you don't have to come to a complete stop after landing when you did it then. Also, sometimes I think it only just knocks the zombie on the ass instead of putting them flat on the ground. And you can also hit multiple zombies with a single kick in the first game, and it was just so much better back then. Things ain't as good as they used to be. Now let me find me a way down into the tunnels beneath the Fortune City, because that's where we get to get to. Yay, only 60 hours until the military arrives and then I get shot all up in the face because they think I'm a bad guy. But we're on our way to make them not think I'm a bad guy. We gotta go find us some evidence and that was just another message I'm gonna ignore cause fuck that. That message won't help me prove my innocence while I'm busy trying to get through stuff and things. That did a lot of damage to my laser sword just now. It's about to break. But it's fine. I can pick up another flashlight and set of gems and make another one. Just gotta find a flashlight and a set of gems and a place to go making another one. And get out of here. Yeah, you get the DDT now, mister. Come to think of it, how does a laser sword even break? The blade is what's hitting everything. I guess it could run out of batteries, and since it's not a solid object, I don't see it being breakable. But whatever, the game has to limit how much you can use certain items for gameplay purposes. They wouldn't want one thing being way too broken. Oops, I broke a slot machine. I didn't want to do that. But I did it. And now you're leading me to the Palisades Ball. Jesus Christ, where is the damn entrance to these fucking tunnels? It's gotta be something. But where? Hopefully it's close by here because I don't feel like running around all over the damn place all all time. Every time here we fucking go, that's a shovel. I don't want no shovel. I'm happy with my almost broken lightsaber. Be like cutty things with laser stuff. Don't you go bite me, you piece of shit biscuits. Where is the tunnels? Pardon me, you walking corpse. Could you point me to the tunnels over there? I don't trust you. I trust that arrow up top that is pointing in the same direction that you were just pointing, so fuck you. And it should be somewhere. I do like this Palisades Mall section, though. It feels familiar. Comfortable. It reminds me of the first game. Mainly because the first game took place inside one giant fucking mall. Also, the first game was that I went and played last year on the channel was an updated port that had a built-in windowed mode and all that shit, and it was a lot easier to record, but 
this one wants to be a big pain in the ass every time I try to record it. I have to restart my computer to make OBS realize that this is a recordable window. But, really? That jump there hurt? It should not have done that kind of damage. Damn, Brownie only heals one block of health. But at least there's a shitter down here. We can do that. We can take a nice, big, nasty dump before we go getting ourselves killed. Hey, look, orange juice. That'll replace that brownie I just munched on. And it'll heal more. Yes, sir. Well, if it ain't TK. TK. Gotta say it quietly, otherwise they'll realize you're here. Now what you babbling about there, Tyrone King? Well, so much for being quiet. Yes, I did. I did pretty good. Don't you go insulting my performance on the game show last night, fool. I came in second only by a narrow margin. All because that Leon guy cheated, who is also now dead, so he can't be in first place anymore. And, ow, bullets. We all know bullets in these games ain't super deadly, so we can get shot many, many times and it won't be a big-ass problem. Ow, bullets. Anyway, ow, bullets. Anyway, there you go. If I can just kill you, there we go. Ow, bullets. Ha, I jumped, so that didn't make me flinch all that bad. Ow. Getting the butt of the rifle did more damage than the bullets did. Hey, you stop shooting me. I'm trying to kill your friend over here. And I'm going to drink some of this. Coffee creamer. And there we go. That puts you down. I definitely should have grabbed one of their guns. Damn, I'm all bloody. Yeah, well, fuck you too, TK. How dare you go doing this stuff at me? You should have flipped me off. That would have been nicer. Oh, look, one of those sticks that, uh, that gave away your position. Instead of using the fucking lightsaber. Crack. Thanks for the ride. I don't think that bike should have been able to plow through those bars like that. But... Whatever. I ain't no master of real-world physics. <laughs> but I do know how to chase down a goddamn train on a motorcycle because I've done this shit before. Oh, they're throwing shit. Don't be throwing shit like that. I just need to find a ramp that I can go launch myself up with. Here we go. And... Damn. That was not a very good rampy ramp, but here's a perfect one. Ah, I wasted it. I wasted it! That train should probably be moving faster. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be this easy to keep up with it when I'm riding a little moped thingy. You call that a train? I call it pathetic. Ah, my face. I just slammed into a goddamn wall and didn't even fetch me. Face of steel, baby! Okay, go ahead and flip sideways for no apparent reason there. But here's our good ramp! I just need to catch up and fling myself onto the damn thing. Get your garbage out of my way! That ain't a ramp that I could use! Why are you hiding all the good ramps at? Probably over on the opposite side. Here's a ramp that I can use. But, yep, oh. Yep. Damn it. 
We just went around in a circle. How exactly is this a chase? If it's going around in a circle. You expect me to go chasing these dudes in a circle all day? I could just turn around and catch them on the way back on the reverse side. But then the game would probably be like, Nope, you got too far away from the train. <laughs> anyway, quit throwing your splody shit. I need to find a ramp that is close enough that yeah, I can make the jump onto the back of a train with. And there we go. Why did you come to a complete sudden dead stop? Nothing was there to stop you. You've been plowing through these fucking zombies like nothing, and then boop, there we go again. Stopped by absolutely nothing. Now, yeah, I know game, I gotta use ramps to jump on the train. Here's a ramp, and let's hope it actually works. Nope. Did not work. But here's another ramp. There we go, finally. And I made that jump so much better. I landed the bike perfectly on that train. And you're making it look like I barely made it. Why ain't these guys shooting me? They got a perfect shot while I'm trying to climb up. Probably the ones with all the guns that were, that were not taking a very clear shot that they had. These dudes are very stupid. I'm going to take this wine and a few bullets. And take some cover while I'm at it. Drinky, drinky. Aha. Now, stop with the damn bullets. There. Owie. Well, if you're gonna be like that, you can... Okay. Kind of expect you to throw that with the blade still out instead of turning it off. But bullets... Bullets are much more deadly in my hands because I am the player character. It wouldn't be fun dying super easily, and your pathetic little hard hats, they are not going to save you. All right, there we go. And, well, that's all the bullets I had, but I still have Spiky Bat. And we'll just need to deal with you, deal with you. There we go. And it's wine time, baby take some orange juice while I'm here. You got that good stuff. All the guns and all the bullets and some orange juice just sitting around. But it's time for me to stop this train. Stop TK from getting away by riding around in a circle. Or at least I would be able to if it would hurry up and load faster. You know how games like to take their time loading. Yeah, slow clap it up. What the hell are you up to, TK? Why aren't you shooting him? Probably should have shot him with that assault rifle you took from those mercenaries. Oh, and now suddenly bullets are dangerous and that gun has literally no recoil at all or he has a wrist made of solid cast iron steel bullshit. Well, bye-bye. Have fun riding around in a circle. These tunnels literally go in a complete fucking circle. He wouldn't get very far just riding that train. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? It was TK. He's the one behind this outbreak. The host of that horrible show? Yeah, that guy. He was moving equipment using the trains, but I have no idea what it's for. He's up to something. Something big. This isn't over yet. Chuck, that's gonna have to wait. Yeah, we don't gotta worry too much about that. I've got plenty of Zombrex found it laying all over the place, and there's still more we can get by following some of these messages that I haven't gotten yet. And that is a key. I guess we're gonna go some unlocky some things now. Underground access key. 
Yep, that's complete. Next Zombrex dose at 7 a.m. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and say real quick. And there. Now. 9.53 p.m. Yeah, we don't gotta wait too long. Until we gotta do the fucking... Oh, that's a zombie. Hey, go away, go away! I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the time I have before I gotta go give my daughter all the stuff and things. Chuck the role model, cure protester. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. But I should probably hold on to some bullets when I go to do that because, as I remember, this leads to a rather difficult fight that becomes a lot less difficult if you're able to just shoot the guy a bunch. So, yeah, there's a barn burner thing. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Can't just climb over the train. No, sir. That makes things too easy. But we definitely do have some optional bosses and shit that we might as well be doing while we wait out the clock. Couldn't hurt to load up on some even more of that PP. Really wish I had something to ride. Slowly walking my way over there. It's, uh... It's taking its time. Seriously, why do they not have fucking little motorcycles or trams all over this place so that I don't have to slowly walk my way? Hey, more Zombrex. I did not even know this one was here. Anyway, why don't they have a bunch of fucking motorcycles and shit for me to get through here in a timely fashion? The first Dead Rising had some cars scattered around the, the maintenance tunnels there, and I actually went out of my way to memorize their fucking locations so that I could get from one place to another in the mall in a very timely fashion, but... Maybe there is some things that just ain't loaded in because I went and did the fucking train mission just now. But, god damn it, I can't get through that. I can examine it, but it's locked, and you can get the fuck off of me! Instead of latching onto me, biting into my goddamn shoulder blades and shit. Why you gotta be like that, you walking dead piece of garbage? And again, I need to remind myself to hold on to some fucking ammo, because I'm heading into something that's going to be very difficult if I can't simply shoot this dude a bunch of times. He's very quick and squirrely, and he hits real hard. So that's going to be uh, going to be fun. Assuming I can actually get there sometime before I die of old age. But maybe we'll get there in the next episode. I'm all out of time for this one, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me see you in the next one. Goodbye!